Ladies and gentlemen, this event one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first on my right, from Pacific Beach, California, at 270 pounds, here's Snake Brown. Snake Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent now entering the ring from the Fiji Islands at 240 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Superfly Jimmy Snuka joining us here on Georgia Championship Wrestling. And as soon as he hit the ring, he went down on one knee and gave that I love you to everybody. And boy, I'm sure that the feeling is mutual from the millions and millions of wrestling fans watching here on TBS. And Snuka is just a proud individual, and he loves the fans, and they love him. And it's great to have that continuity. Snake Brown, the opponent for the Superfly this week. There goes the bell and <laughs> a little uh, sneak attack there by the snake, the sneaky snake you might say. But Jimmy a little bit too clever for that. Look at the conditioning on the Superfly. This man is in great shape all the time. Doesn't dissipate in any way, shape, or form. And it's obvious. Nice go behind, drop down, and the snake slithering right underneath the bottom rope. This is his way of doing things on occasion. Complained about a tight pull, but we couldn't see anything from our vantage point. The referee's giving a few choice words to Jimmy, but the fans here know what the situation is and voice their disapproval. has had some unbelievable battles and you can see the scars on his face the years of one war after another as everybody tried to make a reputation and use look as a stepping stone but it certainly didn't turn out that way because you're in for a rude awakening if you think you can do a number on the superfly amazing individual Agility, speed, strength, wrestling knowledge, and experience. And when you put those all together in one bundle, you've got the Superfly. There are some humongous individuals here with us this week. One in the shape of King Kong Bundy and the other, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Snake is happy with himself. He's got a wrist lock on the fly. Look at the development in the arm of Superfly Jimmy Snooker. As the snake continues to batter on the left arm and shoulder to Superfly. Who's going to explode out of there at any moment? Nice roll over. Double kick out and so much for that hole. Look at the snake. Is he upset? Is he bent out of shape? Well, a lot of snakes can get bent out of shape. Superfly likes to be a defensive wrestler. Whatever you do, he's got a counter ready for you and waiting. Side headlock now by the fly, takes him over the side mare. And right on top of him, make the guy carry your weight. Well, that didn't last very long, although he was into Superfly's tights. Now a handful of hair, referee making him break it now. Superfly, when he slaps on that side headlock, with that muscle development in his arms, you know it's a ringer. And ho, is he ringing it out now? Look at the look on the snake's face. Jimmy into the ropes now, the referee's gonna break this. Not a clean break at that. Snake's gonna get Jimmy upset, nice block there. Oh, karate shot. Knife edge to the forehead. And Snooker said, hey, man. Trying to make this a wrestling match, but if you want to make it a roughhouser, come and get it. Uh-oh, Snake complaining that Snooker's got something in his hand. I don't know what it could possibly be. There's absolutely, their both hands are wide open. 
snake, a constant complainer, trying to take every edge that he can. Back to Jimmy now into the corner. Three right-hand shots. One of them was pretty low. Snake pounding on the phenom. Jimmy comes back with a big right hand and another one right to the jaw. Sends the snake down into the corner. Jimmy got him by the hair now. Rams him into that top turnbuckle. In desperation to keep from going down, he snatched the rope, but Scott Mayer takes him right over. Reverse chin lock now by the fly. Jimmy's going to give this individual an education this week on Georgia Championship. Just to show what professional wrestling is all about. So if you want to be a star, oh, poked his finger right in the eye of the Superfly, and folks, is that painful? You know, at home, when you get a little cinder or something, or a piece of dust in your eye, how painful this. Imagine somebody sticking their finger in there. I got now by the snake. Referee admonishing him, but after the fact again. Jimmy in the corner doesn't really know where he is because I'm sure he's blinded at this point. The snake taking full advantage, walking across with those big right hands into the shoulder and kidney area. Another one behind the neck. Big laugh by the snake. He's having a good time, but I'm afraid it's going to be short-lived. As Jimmy comes back with two big right hands, Snap Mayer takes him over and right back to that reverse chin lock again. Snooker in control once more. Hot on the trail of Windham and Rotundo are the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. Boy, would they like to get their hands on the World Tag Team Championship. Jimmy now in a big slam position. No, backbreaker. Drops him down. Doesn't go for a cover here. Drops a knee right on the sternum. Look out. Super far going outside the ring. Climbing now up on the second. Now into the top turnbuckle. Holy mackerel. Superfly high into the air. Good night. It's all over. Superfly Jimmy Snooker had enough of Snake Brown. And just like that, the lights went out for the snake. Let's go back. Look at this now. The Superfly has got him thrown down under the canvas after that knee lift. Jimmy now up to the top turnbuckle. Watch this incredible leap. Some 15 feet high into the air. Crash down onto the snake. And that's all she wrote. He didn't even have to hook the leg. Because it was obvious at that point that the Superfly was going to be victorious. There's the...